Hey there guys, it's Kai Shinkert here, helping you to expand and enhance your knowledge of Dragon Ball. And in this video, we will be considering the question, who is the Grand Kai? So, the Grand Kai is the one who is in charge of all the other Kaios, including King Kai, who is also known as the North Kai, the East Kai, the South Kai, and the West Kai. So for the sake of his Japanese name, I will be calling him Dai Kaiosama in this video. Now since the other world tournament arc was actually a filler arc, uh, it never actually featured in the manga of Dragon Ball Z, it was only in the anime. So that means that Dai Kaiosama actually never featured in the manga, but he was actually mentioned in the Boo arc when Piccolo thought that the Supreme Kai, or Kaioshin, was actually the Grand Kai. So the Dai Kaiosama is a Shinjin, and so therefore he is born of the fruit of the Keiju tree. And it is not that he is born of the rare super fruit, but it's just the normal fruit. But he is an exceptionally strong Kaio, and therefore he is a supreme martial arts master above them all. He is stronger than the other Kaios, and he is also extremely fast. This was demonstrated clearly when the East Kai and Goku had a race to finish at a goal. Uh, the Dai Kaiosama was still moments before the end of the race, still at the starting line, but then he appeared at the ending line just as they finished, and he was already there in a split second, so he was extremely fast, but he wasn't nearly as strong as Goku or Pycon, and he even not stated this, but thought this in his mind. He obviously made that rubbish excuse about them touching the sides of the uh, the walls, which you know, which is the floor of the arena when it was upside down and all this stuff, uh, just so he didn't have to train them. But he was obviously weaker than them both because he'd actually slacked off his training, and he said that he'd get tired too quickly if he fought either of them, so he'd have to wait a few years. So he is an exceptionally strong Kaio, but he's just not quite on the level of a Kaio Shin. However, since he is known as the Supreme Martial Arts Master, all the fighters in the afterlife look up to him and all dream about someday having the chance to train with him. And this kind of information about him being born of the tree, of the, the Keiju tree, uh, of the normal fruit, was introduced in the super exciting guide that was released in 2009. So when actually looking at the appearance of the Kaios, it's obvious that the Dai Kaiosama looks very different. He is rather slenderer, and he also has a narrow face with long hair, compared to the round faces and the broader build of the other Kaios. And in terms of clothes, the Dai Kaiosama looks to be more like a country bumpkin biker dude, <laughs> with his black sunglasses, really long white hair as I said. Uh, biker boots and like denim apparel which I'm really not a fan of but yeah I mean I don't really like him in that kind of outfit but I really love his clothes uh, when he's actually judging the other world tournament. What I personally think is really interesting about the Dai Kaiosama is depending on which music score you use to watch Dragon Ball Z uh, he has different music tastes. If you listen to the Bruce Faulkner score he likes rock music, electronic rock music to be frank. But if you listen to the Japanese score, he actually likes listening to some kind of 70s, 80s groove type thing. I'm not sure if I got my genre right there, but it's a much different genre of music that he likes depending on the musical score you listen to. So just to end off, I'd just really like to say that even though the Dai Kaiosama is kind of redundant now that we know of the Kaioshins of both Universe 7 and 6, I think it would be a lot of fun to see him return in the series and since Dragon Ball Super is really more of a gag show than Dragon Ball Z ever was, it would be appropriate because he is a fun character. He's not a, he's not a very strict kind of uh, tense character, he's really kind of light hearted. And who knows, like in the future we might even see uh, the other world in Universe 6 and interact with more of the Kaios there and eventually meet the Universe 6 <laughs> Grand Kai or Dai Kaiosama. Uh, but at the moment, obviously, the Gods of the Destruction are much more important to the storyline of Dragon Ball Super. So thanks for watching this video in the Dragon Ball Expanded series. If you have any suggestions for future videos in the series, then please do let me know down below in the comments section. Also, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to start expanding your knowledge of Dragon Ball under myself, Kaioshin Kurt. And I'll see you in the next video.